game. If the Chiefs win the game on Sunday, we'll have a third parade just in the last few years. I love that Lindsey Anderson's already talking about forecasts in the 50s potentially oh, for Valentine's seriously. Day when that parade is scheduled, knock on wood. But we know Valentine's Day is a very busy day, regardless of parade or not, especially for flower shops around Kansas City. They're thinking, oh my gosh, I've already got enough work to do, and now we're going to have Taylor Swift in town for a parade? What's going on? <laughs> Daniela Leon went to find out. <laughs> hey, good morning, Taylor. Well, it's up to the Kansas City Chiefs to score big on football's biggest stage, but it's up to Chiefs fans, I'm talking to you guys at home, to score big on Valentine's Day. So I got the assignment to ask flower shops how last year and the craze surrounding the Chiefs and the Super Bowl impacted their business, and they tell me that it did have an impact on their sales. So this year, they're using Casey's Hottest Couple as inspiration for Valentine's Day gifts and bouquets. As the Kansas City Chiefs get ready for another Super Bowl run, flower shops are reminding Chiefs fans to not forget about tackling romance this Valentine's Day. Still going to love the Chiefs, but you're going to have to come home to that partner and you're going to want to make darn sure that everybody's happy. Chicken Creek Co. and Shawnee saw a 25 to 30 percent dip in sales last year during the season of love. They say it's because Valentine's Day was intercepted by the Chiefs in another Super Bowl run. The love of their life. Uh, became the Chiefs. Yeah, we were a little distracted. They're not the only flower shop who noticed Chiefs fans forgetting to score big on V-Day. Lily Floral Designs, a wedding and event-based florist, says their sales last year were also impacted. It was also about two degrees last year on Valentine's Day, which always causes problems. But this year, both shops are thinking ahead and using the Chiefs and their love life, aka Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, as inspiration so Chiefs fans don't shake Valentine's Day off. We love a good love story. <laughs> We're just waiting for them to get engaged so we can be like, pick us, pick us. <laughs> like this lavender haze bouquet at Lily Floral Designs. It's really amazing what the Swift fans want, so they are willing to spend all the money on all the things that remind them of Taylor Swift, and we love that. Chicken Creek says additional red and yellow flowers have been ordered to attract Chiefs fans and have added Chiefs gift sets and are offering these Taylor-inspired cards with every purchase and just hope fans won't drop the ball once again this year. Historically, guys like to show up the day of, and that's okay. We plan ahead. This year, it's probably going to be a little different. Now, Lily Floral Designs, which I'm currently standing outside of, tells me that they saw a 10 to 15 percent dip in sales, but they think they weren't impacted as much because they were close to the parade and all the action in downtown KC. By the way, take a look at your screen. They also offer other customized Taylor Swift floral arrangements, a 1989 inspired bouquet reputation album. I was told this has a lot of significance to Swifty fans all over. And by the way, Chiefs fans, their advice is to order ahead and not even worry about the parade. Or, or, or worry about ordering your flowers during the parade since it's going to be a nice day outside. Back to you guys. I love that. I just wonder with uh, the Super Bowl mixed with the love story of it all, if maybe this will be a little better of a boost for Valentine's Day for them this year. Thanks, Daniela.